Sunday morning. Great to see you as always. I'm Susan Hendricks. Our big story this morning really just did always double check that the license plate driver's photo and car model match what's on your app before getting into the car. Again, she had just gotten into law school. So devastating. Turning now to uh, Brownsville, Texas is dealing with an increasing number of migrants released from a processing center that is overcrowded. The number, meanwhile, continues to grow. Right off his presidential campaign with a focus on immigration reform. That is our first stop on this political express. A buzzer beater and redemption for Virginia. What a game this was, uh, uh, Susan, last year, Virginia became the the only number one city. <laughs> it is now. Very <laughs> good. Thank you. Some great games, by the way. Nurses in a maternity. Welcome back. Nearly 300,000 women will have breast augmentation surgery this year. So says the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. But oh, hi, thanks thanks thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I know it's going to help so many people. Jessica, I'll start with you. You said that you went in to get this procedure. It wasn't really told much. You went in to get it wasn't told what symptoms or the risks in, in the last 18 months prior to having my implants removed. Like you guys were going back and forth from yes. doctor to doctor. Every to treat that, I can put you on this to treat that, but ultimately like what's amazing to me, as soon as you got them removed, the yes. symptoms gone instantly. Yes. Wow. Within days. Implants, mm -hmm. how long after you got them did you feel some of the symptoms? So you were saying you were in boot camp and you were feeling exhausting with your everyday happiness and everyday life. Marriage. What now? I'm, I'm, it, I'm not. I'm right. off of all of my medicine. Dozens of pills a day. And literally my third rheumatoid. Same thing. He's like, I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but I think you're. You know, it's thank not you. easy, but Jessica and Gina, thank you. I thank know you're you going to so help much. a lot of women. Thank you so much for it. helping to share the word. We appreciate thank your you. time. Thanks. And this now in today's Staying Well, therapists are taking a hands-on approach now to pain. It's called manual therapy. Take a look. Talk about a change of heart. This time last week, actor Nicolas Cage was a newlywed. Now, after only a few days, he wants a divorce. The award winning. I don't think he's going to need that book, though, Randy. Uh, he's, he's <laughs> well, starting, he's on his fourth, right. so maybe he he's might He's going to learn how to do it. So. Exactly. So do you think, and we were talking earlier, it's really up to the judge with this annulment? I mean, that was so fast. The yeah, you have to give the judge something to hang his hat on. Of course, remember same. that. She got married in Vegas. Her mom was like, what did you do? Yep. They got it annulled. Also, Kim Carter. Kardashian, I believe. Should this be so easy? It's like a drive through marriage, and then you gotta backtrack in terms of the, should they have a drive through divorce area of Las Vegas? Just don't order the time. I know you said it's up to the judge. Does that matter if it's 24 hours, or does it have to be under the didn't know what that person was doing? Well, think about it. If you're married that fast, I mean, I I guess that's a question we can't answer, right? Should anybody get married that fast, right? <laughs> no more drive through weddings. Randy Kessler, thank you. Thank you, Susan. But first, it is time now to honor a CNN hero here, an ordinary person doing really extraordinary things for others. Carrie Brody started a special program that gives refugees a way to launch their cooking careers, learn English, and a whole lot more. Check it out. Uh, what? We're speechless. Denim on denim well, the, the Jancy's all right. Kodak, when we didn't have denim smartphones, yeah. and we brought up some archives. Guilty, guilty. Um, nope. No. Some celebrity will wear them, and they'll be famous. I do draw the line there. You know what a I denim expert is called? No. What? A genius. Oh. I, well, Dad jokes, people. <laughs> Happy Sunday. <laughs> That is it today for Weekend Express. Thanks so much for being with us. Be sure to come back tomorrow for Morning Express with Robin Mead, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Up next, very scary.